There is increasing debate over the use of genetically modified foods in this country. Proponents of GMO crops promise lower costs and less pesticide use. Critics say the benefits of GMOs are overblown. To put some of this recent debate in perspective, we're joined by Michael Hansen. He is a senior scientist with Consumers uh, Union. Michael, good to see you. Glad to be here. Um, uh, some of this debate comes up because of the recent controversy surrounding Dr. Oz. I don't want to ask you to make a judgment on that, but I do want to talk to you about GMOs. Sure. Um, because I think a lot of people don't uh, understand them. First of all, what, what is a GMO? Uh, GMO stands for genetically modified organism, and that's where you take the process of what's called genetic engineering, and they do this to either plants or to some animals. You can move uh, genetic material now between any organisms you want. So, for example, they've uh, taken genes from mice, put them into corn plants, genes from humans, put them into uh, rice plants. So there's a concern about uh, the potential safety of moving these genes between organisms that could never um, cross these, uh, uh, the, this uh, genetic material. And also the technology itself, how you do that, can cause all sorts of unexpected problems. Okay, so if you're in the grocery store and you want to know what's GMO, you can or cannot tell easily? Uh, well, you can't tell because nothing's labeled. So if you're well informed like I am, I know I can pick up an apple or any of these uh, fruits and they're not engineered at this time. Although both the FDA and USDA recently approved this genetically engineered apple, but it might be a while before that's on the market. And doctors are now being deployed on either sides of this battle. You know, part of the problem is, is the U.S., this is highly technical, but we don't require safety assessments for these engineered crops before they come on the market. The FDA doesn't do that. Many other countries in the world do. So in a certain sense, the American pub, uh, public is uh, guinea pigs. And yes, you have people from the industry um, and other doctors who say this stuff is perfectly safe but they haven't really done adequate safety testing. So if you, if you are a consumer, um, what, what do you do? How do you, is, well, is, is there, there an easy way to get more information? Uh, yes, there's actually, you can go on our website, consumersunion.org. There are many uh, websites out there. Uh, if uh, people are interested in avoiding, for example, GMO foods, they, they know that they can buy organic or they can have these, it's called the Non-GMO Project, has over 15,000 products that are uh, labeled, but that's still uh, a tiny part of the overall uh, food market. This is a debate that people on both sides feel very strongly about. This is true. Uh, Dr. Hansen, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.